Okay, so this is actually going to be a little weird compared to my usual videos. Um, the reason why is because this commentary is actually being recorded after I've already recorded part of the video. Um, there was construction going on while I was recording this. And I also had some mic problems this morning. Uh, for some reason, my mic was not picking up all the sounds and my filters were all wrong. So I was having a lot of technical problems on top of really, really loud, obnoxious construction in the background. So I am recording this post commentary. Um, but basically what I was doing in this episode was I decided that now that we have finished all our side quests, we are going to head towards Camp Ichigaya to see if we can find Tayama and I guess put a stop to whatever it is that he is doing. Or at least, you know, figure out what we need to do in order to put a stop to him. Um, I was heading out of Shibuya because I figured that, you know, Tayama's base is in Shibuya, so the way to get to Ichigaya is probably somewhere around here. After coming out to the Rapongi region, I saw this guy to the north. Hello! And uh, Tayama seems serious this time. I heard he's gonna start an all out war against the Ring of Gaia. I've heard he put some national defense weapon at the Sendagaya tunnel ahead, so I went to take a peek and almost soiled my drawers when I saw that demon. So at this point, I knew that we had a boss fight coming up. Um, we weren't quite sure what kind of boss it was going to be yet, but spoilers, it is a boss that we have seen before. Oh, at this point, I decided to go check out my apps because someone mentioned in the comments that um, it's possible that I hit the demon's weak points last time I used auto because I had auto pinpoint. But I actually did not have auto pinpoint unlocked, so I think the reason why I hit weaknesses for the other demon was because either they were just weak to physical or maybe they were weak to gun. Or something. Hold up there. I ain't letting you past here. Yeah, so this guy. This is no time for heroics. If you don't want to die, stand clear. This guy thinks he can don't stop press us. Your luck, loser. You'll shit your pants when you see my demon. Little does he know that the reason he has that demon is because of us. Koga Saburo? Then we vanquished him at Club Milton. Yeah, Koga Saburo is back, but this time he actually is I'm a dog of the Ashurakai. A dog of the Ashurakai, and also, in my opinion, much stronger than he was the first time we fought him. He starts off with a Sugukaja and then attacks us with a Berserker God. But luckily, we have a party full of physical resistors, which means that a lot of his physical attacks aren't going to do anything. However, I decide to start with Fog Breath just to keep us all alive. And I also am going to be using Fang Breaker to lower his attack as well, not realizing that Fog Breath actually lowers attack and accuracy, and not uh, defense and accuracy because I was mixing it up with Acid Breath. I, hope you're prepared. Uh, I charge up with both Guijan and Rakshasa to get them ready for some physical beating. Here, he crits my Guijan, crits him again, hits him with a Javelin Rain, and hits him one more time, and Guijan survives with 4 HP. That is the tankiest turtle I've ever had in my party. Absolutely amazing. Taking two crits and two regular attacks and still surviving. 
Uh, here we get Kaguya Saburo to negative 3 attack and we heal up using Okuni Nushi. I am deciding whether I want to attack with Rakshasa or not, and unfortunately we only got one hit in there instead of the 1-3 to three hits. So Rakshasa isn't doing much in this fight aside from tanking a lot of damage. I think at this point I'm deciding whether I want to continue to fog breath him or to heal and I decide we need to heal up to make sure that we all survive and then I also decide to use Rakukaja to basically keep us all alive because this guy hits pretty hard and he can crit quite often so raising our defense and lowering his attack as much as possible is the best way for us to continue to survive. He continues to use Tsukukaja like every turn, so now I'm debating whether I should be using Fog Breath, which I don't really need to anymore because his attack is at minus 3, or just Dekaja and keep him at neutral. And I end up deciding to just try to keep him at bay with Dekajas while everyone else continues to wear him down. He does use Mazandine here and completely hits two of my weaknesses. I think I did not even register that he used Zandine there because I was so preoccupied with the construction that was going on. So I decided to try Zandine on him the very next turn, causing Flynn to take a lot of damage and dying to the next Javelin Rain. I thought that this was going to be it, however my Okuni Nushi actually has healing know-how, so Okuni Nushi is able to revive Flynn and keep me in the battle. And then Flynn is going to Dekaja because he was at plus 2 at this point. So we are kind of in a tough situation here with our party all being a little over half health, but he does decide to Berserker God Walter instead. Um, and then he met Zandines and kills Flynn one more time. I think this time instead of using a Revival Bead, oh no, I, I just used the Revival Bead here. The Revival Bead, this time we actually heal up to full. And then here we're just struggling to keep ourselves afloat, really. Unfortunately, because of the way the turns are, I can't skip Rakshasa's turn, so he just has to charge here. And now he's dangerous at plus two. That Javelin Rain is going to crit like crazy. And with a Smirk, Berserker God, Flynn goes down one more time. I'm pretty sure I pass with Guijan here. And then with Okuni Nushi, I revive using a Bomb of Rising instead. That way we don't have to heal up. And then I decide we need to Dekaja, get rid of that. Pretty sure I'm gonna pass here with Rakshasa. I considered swapping Rakshasa out for another one of my demons, but honestly any other demon in Rakshasa's place would probably die instantly. So I end up just keeping him in, using him as an extra turn, and using him to soak up more damage. And then I hit him with a Bufula, which is Kogosaburo's weakness. I had forgotten what his weakness was since the last time we fought, so discovering that really helped. And now you can see I'm going to start icing the crap out of him. We use Guijan to put on some damage because he can't uh, skip his turn. And then we go ahead and use another 
Oh, we use a chakra drop on Flynn to get his MP back up again so that he can continue to use Fufula. Keeping him smirked so that if Kogosaburo tries to attack Flynn again, he's going to miss. Okuninushi raises our defense. And now we are pretty much in the end part of this fight where we have established that he's probably not going to take us out anymore because we've figured out his weakness. We have our defenses raised, his attack lowered. Yeah, we're pretty much done. And with one more hit from Buijan, Kogosaburo goes down. And there we go, we get a Dekaja Stone for our troubles. This is pretty much the end of the footage that I recorded. So following from here, we're gonna go back to live commentary. All right, it is a couple hours later after I last um, recorded. Hopefully, things will be all right now, but I think there is still construction going on, so hopefully it won't really matter too much, but um, we're going to try to get this done. I know that these discs are weak to gun, and they're pretty weak anyway. Uh, so we... We fought Koga Saburo again. That was not too difficult, but some Ashura Kai people here. A bunch of Ring of Gaia guys were here a minute ago saying there were some kind of vanguard. There's no way they could have stood up to Koga Saburo. Thanks to them, I'm stuck with the job of cleaning up the bodies. I just noticed that the screen is um, a little cut off. Say, are you guys new here? Then do me a solid and stand guard over there. There's a mound of disfigured corpses with the limbs torn off. All of the corpses are clad in a familiar red uniform. Oh. I'm surprised they just let me in, but I guess they they were probably assuming, you know, they have Koga Saburo defending the place. No one is dumb enough to come in here, so. Oh, hello. I pity you. New music, new demons. Lachesis, Sarasvati. Ouroboros. We can talk to the Lachesis, so let's get rid of these other two. Um, somehow I don't think ice is gonna work, but let's try it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just get rid of the Ouroboros if possible. Okay, Who's not thunder. For you? Oh, I just realized we came all this way and we didn't actually get a chance to heal up before this dungeon. That's great. I actually hope they starve me more. Let me save some MP here then. Instead of using that sword, I will go next and speak with Okisus. I am not quite in the mood. Perhaps you could offer me something to sway me in that direction? Offer me a life stone. I will. And offer me some maka. Let me cheat this one. 
That's she is right. satisfied. This should suffice. After all, being too greedy is unsightly. What is it about me that attracts you? Uh, do not be a simp. So, let's say you're a mysterious shadow. That's right. You speak as if you have never seen one. Your own shadow is quite mysterious as well. I am most interested to see what fate you bear on your shoulders. I can definitely see your passion. Why don't we take this opportunity to invite others? I may have some volunteers who are attracted by my beauty. Oh, what a group of killjoys. Just ignore them and let us be on our way. I am Femme Lachesis. It is a pleasure to meet you. Alright. And you're gonna be nice and strong with a Rakunda. That's nice. I can get back some of those skills that I gave up early on. The debuffs. So. That would be great. And we got quite a lot of experience for that. Alright, I gotta change up my party for this dungeon. Instead of using Rakshasa and Okuni Nushi, let's use Lachesis and Zakum. And then I will give Flynn a magic incense. Heal him up. And let's save just to be sure. And continue for a little bit. Oh, okay. We seem to have stumbled upon a room of, um, Yakuza's. A horde of them. Let us burn them. Oh! Wow. That's interesting. She's just a complete debuffer. Take that! And he has Berserker God as well. It does look like they have resistance. And I got 5,000 Maka just for beating the Yakuza Horde. Burrows. I wonder if that's something that's gonna be consistent every time I run into one. Okay, the range on that new weapon is a lot shorter than I expected. We do have the pleasure of already having a Lachesis, so we don't have to deal with this counter anymore. And I'm pretty sure my hair is about to run out of MP, so I might want to get him leveled up. Okay, we've got Clotho here. I think I want to get Clotho and then also the last one. I forget the name of the last one. But we want to get all of them. So, let's take out these two. Please don't ruin my chances. I'm pretty sure if I have all three of them and I use them together, I'll get something cool. 
But if I join you, I'll be betraying my own race. Well, not exactly. Um, such is the risk. Hmm. All right, all right. You don't have to tell me twice. It's not like those humans who fob off their... I'm not like those humans who fob off their responsibilities, after all. This world isn't so cheap that you can get help for free. Lifestone. That's what I want. Choose one of these and make an old woman happy. I wouldn't call you old. Have some HP. Yes, that's it. That's just what I wanted. Not bad. There, that should be plenty. So that's decided. I'm one of you now. We try, but I don't think they're coming. Well, demons are fickle. Things like this happen now and again. I am Them Clotho. Was the last one a Tropos? Who knows how this will go? I think it was. All right. So now we have Clotho as well. A diorama, recarm, fire breath. That's gonna be cool. I actually kind of want to save Lachesis and move her to the back. So that if I can get the last one as well, I can just use all three of them in the party at once. That'll be fun. Oh. Yeah. yeah, let's go ahead and finish up this first floor here. Did I check out this area? Oh, there's something else. Something reacted. Unless it was the stairs. Okay. This place is kind of confusing, it seems. There are a number of stairs coming down. And we do have Grendels here. Jackie Grendels. Um Yeah, I can't get rid of them. Without killing them. I don't know how well this is going to work. I'll end it thus. Well, they're not particularly strong. I actually expected a much harder hit. They are resistant. There we go. I think that'll get Zakum back. You can get Rakukaja. I don't need that. That's that's fine. Uh no. Boom is far from being maxed. You do get a Soma drop, though. Huh? Dude, what took you so long? I was getting lonely here. I felt real bad asking you to do this, you know. I made sure to put Mr. Tayama's demons in the right places and set up a domain to boot. Even if by some mistake those Ring of Gaia punks show up, there's no way they can get past those two demons. So I'm gonna take off now. Oh. Alright. Okay, so we don't want to keep going there because that is most definitely the right way. So let me go check out the rest of the paths here. And then we can end the episode.
JSDF office and... Oh, Megadola. Yeah, they caught me a little off guard. Good thing I have a Clotho. Probably should have Burrows. healed them up between battles. But I also do have a Colotho, which means I can recarm instead of using Survival Beat. We'll do that, and then Clotho can also Madiorama. That helps out since the hair is out of MP. And then the last thing we want to check out is are these stairs. Chocolate pots, a relic, and the bomb of rising. Okay. Interesting that this goes down even further. Ah, it must be a shortcut. Another shortcut? Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be a big dungeon. I like it. The fact that they have two shortcuts. And the music is good. Alright, I think this is a great place for us to end then. Next time, we are going to continue forward inside of Camp Ichigaya, descending down to the B2F levels. And uh, we know that there are two demons waiting for us somewhere within these walls. And um, after that, we will reach Tayama and probably have another boss fight there. So I'm looking forward to this. Until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!